So what is going on guys, NaderBits93 here with another video and today we got an unexpected update to iPadOS 14.3 RC which again stands for Release Candidate. So obviously we gotta go in here, we'll hit the settings, we'll see exactly what we're looking at here in terms of the actual build number. And if you guys can see, this is probably the most similar I've seen an actual you know update build number go. So last time we had 18C65, this time it's just 66 at the end. Normally when you go from a beta to a GM, it gives you still that letter, right? You usually get the letter A on the final beta at the end of that build number. But this time Apple added this new release candidate moniker, which I still think is below the GM moniker. Release candidate is just that. It's just a software that they consider good enough and they're consider it for release, right? So it's a release candidate. And I do believe you still get a GM version maybe at some point, but all of a sudden we're on release candidate two. And a lot of people started to freak out because it's only 48 hours removed from Apple's last update. And in all honesty, I could not find anything new between this one and the last RC video that I showed you guys from before. So you still have all those 14.3 updates, right? You have, you have that new search engine default option, which is that Ecosia through Safari. So if we click on here, go to Safari, go to search engine, and then you can see that Ecosia, Ecosia is one of the options again. That's one of those search engines that plants trees for every search or something along those lines. So it's an environmentally friendly search engine. And that was added in the last one. But then we were also supposed to get Apple Fitness Plus, an Apple, a dedicated application. We were also supposed to get inside of Apple TV, we were supposed to get a tab dedicated down here for purely Apple TV products or Apple TV Plus products. But again, we only have this one tab right here. And I think Apple's is getting ready for all the new releases that they have coming up next week. So on Monday, we're supposed to get that Apple Fitness Plus. And then on Tuesday, the AirPods Max release. So it also has support for that. But again, we're not seeing anything physically different. So this was, I think, a purely bug fix update. Because again, I don't see any physical differences with the UI. I don't see anything new. The one thing that they did actually, that they're trying to wean out, which I didn't even know was an actual option, was an application, a native Apple application called Music Memo, which apparently back in the day, released in 2016, it was supposed to be a way for musicians and artists to quickly jot down music ideas or sing a quick song or, or sing a quick tune in their head to then remember it later on. But they're slowly getting away from that and migrating everybody over to the normal voice memo app, which if we go right here, I use pretty frequently, guys. But that's the only real difference that we noticed, right? But other than that, everything is a bug fix. I didn't see anything crazy detrimental over the last two days that required a brand new update because this update was, again, 4.5 gigabytes. So you got to give yourself 9 to 10 gigabytes of space in order to actually get this update going. But like I said, I didn't see anything new. I didn't see any differences. This is a purely bug fix. And maybe it was a special situation where it was ruining a certain sector of consumers or users or iPad users and I just didn't see any and not a lot of people saw it but that's pretty much the entirety of this update guys it's a, another big update in terms of size but at the end of the day no real differences guys but that's gonna do it for this video big shout out to Paperlike the channel sponsor as you guys can see I have a Paperlike screen protector on and you can barely even notice it gets rid of all the glare and if I move the light a little bit you see it right there that's where the Paperlike screen protector is but it kind of just meshes nicely right up in there. So I'm going to leave a link to their website. First link in the description below, guys. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.